Hi, it's Kai from Happily Ever Hobby. So it's the second video for Happily Ever Hobby, and I'm really, really excited to kind of just, you know, continue getting into the groove of making these really, really fun hobby videos for you guys and for myself. And this week, we're going to be doing origami. Um, origami has always been something that I've been like inc incredibly interested by and intrigued by. Um, I remember growing up and seeing my brother really make really cool and ornate things, whether it was with um, architecture paper my grandfather had um, back in Kansas, or it was with the really, really beautiful, uh, you know, ornate origami paper that's like the special 20 by 20 centimeter size. So today we're going to keep it a little bit simple because again, it's a beginner's path, a beginner's hobby. But yeah, I'm really excited to get into origami today, so let's waste no more time and let's just get into it. Okay, so in terms of materials, I'm going to be using uh, copy paper, just standard A4 or like 8x11 um, copy paper or construction paper. I was really, really excited to use construction paper um, like when I was looking up stuff, but I'm now kind of thinking about how it's like pretty important to use the proper size of paper, so I might try it later just to see if it works, but I'm not sure. I'm also gonna, I also am going to be using a folding table desk um, because I'm working in my living room and it's just really easy for me to, you know, film and make this video. Um, and I'm also be following along on a tutorial on how to make an origami boat and I'll put that, uh, you know, tutorial down in the description below as well as um, the, you know, materials that I've used. So yeah, let's waste no more time like I always say, so let's get into it. Hi, so this is Editing Kai, and I'm just kind of popping in just to like give a kind of an overview of how it was going. Um, I started off really, really confident. Um, obviously, you guys can kind of see me doing the vertical lines and really enjoying the smoothing out of that, as well as doing the hot dog fold over. And I'm just really having a good time. I feel good. I feel confident. Like nothing is too daunting at this point. Again, just continuing to enjoy making those really thin and precise lines. But I noticed as I kept going, especially on the construction paper, that it became increasingly difficult to make really neat and actual like structured lines that would actually make a very tenable version of an origami boat. So I genuinely do not suggest using um, construction paper to do this project. It's just not worth it. And I do think it is something to do with the thickness. So just something to keep in mind. Okay, so I'm back with uh, copy paper. I have a fine sheet of copy paper. I'm gonna start over this entire video. So you can definitely tell in this technically third round of uh, trying how to like learning how to do an origami boat, I definitely have much better lines, much stronger lines, much more confident folding lines, um, also much sharper uh, lines of uh, demarcation of when I'm folding things over. And I don't know, I think it ends up doing something really, really cool. And it just leads to a very confident um, product, I think. Okay, so I got pretty far into the video and I don't know how I'm confused. 
so I'm gonna rewatch it because I got really, really far. It shouldn't be this difficult. But for some reason, I'm like, it makes sense. Now you lost me. So I'm gonna keep watching the video and hopefully comment starts clicking. But yeah, this is what it looks like as of right now. I got pretty, pretty far. And the lines actually that I did were pretty neat, all considering. I just don't know why it's like super puffy right now, but I promise you, very, very neat lines. But yeah, I'm gonna rewatch um, like 30 seconds and see if if it was just me misunderstanding the video after this point, or if I actually made an error. Yeah, so I definitely made an error of some kind. I'm still not sure, even as I'm editing this, really where I made the error. I really am so lost at how I did it, but nonetheless, it was completed. <laughs> Okay, so I technically finished my first paper boat. I don't think it's supposed to have a flap like this. For my understanding, I'll post a picture somewhere in here. I think it's supposed to be a triangle. I genuinely don't know why mine is flat. I genuinely don't know why. Like, even looking inside, very confused. Very confused. So I'm gonna try one more time. Hopefully it actually makes much, much more sense, but I wouldn't consider this a fail. And I actually had a lot of fun, like trying to figure it out. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna try it one more time. All right, so this is uh, version two, take two, of trying to do an origami boat. I am, hopefully this time around, I think, it's like better film, like you can actually see my desk this time. So hopefully you guys can see more of my actual hand movements and not just me like verbalizing it. But yeah, I'm really, really excited to make it look prettier than the first attempt. I want a pretty perfect, uh, you, know, you know, little triangle that you have in a boat. So yeah, let's see if I can um, not fail at it. not even gonna lie to you i kind of ate this time around i don't know what it is I, I don't know if it's just like i got the hand movements down or what and in part i kind of started to memorize the video so i don't know i also feel like um this time around i didn't have any weird random creases at really pivotal points of me folding it so before you are um, folding it, um, folding the two right corners in um, is like incredibly pivotal and I feel as though I didn't have any weird creasing, which on the previous two I definitely did. So yeah. goodness it is so it was so serious to me but it actually turned out super super cute i love it actually turned out really really cute um this is like very unexpected i did not think it was going to initially be that difficult for me to do i'm really really happy with the results um really between the two that i did you can really see like a huge difference in like quality of my folds between the first and the second one. Um, this is the first one. Um, obviously, I made some type of error because it's not supposed to be flat here. It is supposed to be a triangle. Maybe it was supposed to be like this in some way. Oh, still don't think it's supposed to be that short um, either way. So that's me editing it right now. Um, still decent not perfect not good 
not very pretty, honestly. This one, however, has way better holes, especially on the front. I just think I got rough with the back a little bit. My bad. But when you look at the front, it looks actually really nice. It has the really pretty um, tall peak that you're supposed to have. And I don't know, it just looks a lot better. I didn't need to adjust to make sure that um, that it looks like the perfect little triangle in the middle and it doesn't it's not bulky because the first one is incredibly bulky on the inside like it would definitely sink this one I can definitely see having a bit of an easier time splitting so what would I rate this hobby as I definitely would say this is a hobby it's not a hobby or not it's not a not it's definitely a fun thing um, that I hope to continue in the future um, I think the next time I do this on my own, I think I'll definitely try different different shapes and different um, styles that I haven't ever tried before and actually buy like proper origami paper. But for, you know, trying out a new hobby and trying to figure out whether or not it's interesting in a cost effective way, um, this was really, really fun and I definitely suggest it to everybody. So I hope you guys enjoyed today's video as well as my attempt at trying to do origami. I really, really enjoyed um, making this video it was a lot of fun to kind of reach back into my childhood and like actually do something that I had never really really tried myself so it was really really fun um don't forget to go ahead and subscribe to my channel if you're interested in seeing more videos of mine or happily ever hobby and also make sure to like and also hit the notification bell if you want to be in the loop of when I upload next okay bye